So choose, of, uh, with the two of you, choose someone who's going to be Parker May. Raise your hand, Parker May. Okay, you are Parker May. The other person is Parker B. Um, okay, so here's the, the, so in your hair, here's the prompt that you're going to be focusing on. Um, you're going to tell a story about an important decision that you made in your life and um, that you feel significantly influences your trajectory and where you are now. Uh, so everyone, please take you know, 30 seconds to think about what story you might want to tell. There's uh, some, you all have notepads, there's also blank uh, paper and pens on the tables. So just uh, take about 30 seconds to think about that now, and then we'll move to the next part. A story that they're gonna, they're gonna dig into, they're gonna tell. Okay. Um, so now both people are gonna share your story that you just thought of, and then we're gonna share out at the end. Um, so partner A, you're gonna go first. You're gonna have three minutes to tell uh, partner, your partner, partner B, um, your story. And partner B, you are a listener, okay? Uh, so your job is to listen. You can ask some questions, um, but your primary job is to listen. And at the end of this, you're, you're not gonna share your own story. Part, everyone, no one's gonna share their own story. You're gonna share the story of your partner. Okay, um, so partner A, you have three minutes to tell your story, and partner B, you're listening actively, you can take notes if you want. Go ahead. Okay, so now with that information, with these wonderful stories that you've just been able to hear about this other person, um, take a minute to think about um, what, you, what you want to say. You're going to have one minute to uh, tell the story that the other person has told you. So what are those key points, what are those key insights that you want to share with the group? So take a second, if you want to draw a little picture that will help explain, that's awesome, visuals are great. Um, but just, just take a second to, to think about that, and then we're going to divide into two groups. So now um, we're going to divide the room into two groups. So it's, we're just going to divide it straight down the middle. So all the partners on this side, um, I want you to stand up and form a circle. You can kind of push some of the chairs in, but form some type of circle so that you're all facing so so each other, you're all facing each other. And then this side, you're going to do the same. So some type of ellipse so that you can all see and, and hear each other. Told me that gave me an insight that when he was a young, young, you know, student, 
uh, he wanted to combine what he was interested in and with, with the certain kind of fun that he wanted to have and that took the, uh, the form of something mechanical because he liked the idea of, of, uh, of solving mechanical problems. That led him on to a journey that took him through uh, mechanical things, uh, vehicles, uh, a, a heating and ventilation equipment, etc. And but he felt, felt every time he felt constrained, he felt that he wants to do something new and give a have some innovation. So he worked on a lighting project, which which was designed for city lighting because he thought that was a need. Ten seconds left. And and but what that has led him to is realizing that if you really want to get energy to people. The real part is giving them a way to save money to get get, get them to afford solar energy. So that's okay. why he's a